Hi, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we will uh, discussing about the Xena diode. Let me change another mouse so it will be easier. So this is the Xena diode. Brief in the previous videos about Atispies, I already talked about the diode in general. So Xena diode is only like a special case of a diode. Normally, when we talk about diode, we usually just care about the forward direction or the forward region of the diode, which I already demonstrated in the previous videos about diode in general. If you want to know more, please refer to my videos about diode. I did the simulation. I tried some examples in empty spice to demonstrate the characteristics of a diode. So, it, so please refer to the other videos. I put the link of those videos in the comment section. So please, if you are curious, don't forget to check it out. So now let's go to the Xena diode again. And uh, for the Xena diode, besides talking about the forward direction, we also care about the breakdown region of the Xena diode. So as you could see here, not much of difference between the breakdown region and the forward region. The only difference is that in the forward region, the diode will let the current flow through it, like let an infinitely big current flowing through it in the forward direction. As you could see, the forward direction is is the direction of the arrow. And in the breakdown region, it happens the same thing. The diode also let infinitely big current flowing through it, but in the reverse direction. So instead of going f along the direction of the arrow, when the diode is in the breakdown region, it will let the current going this direction in the reverse direction, in the opposite direction of the arrow of the diode. So that's the only thing we need to pay attention about the Zeno diode. Why do they care? Because usually for the breakdown voltage, I mean the voltage at which the diode starts to let infinitely big current flowing through it in the reverse direction somehow is big. Could be 5 volts, it could be like 3.5 volts, depends on the manufacturing of the Zeno diode. And due to that, it can be used as a voltage regulator. Uh, why don't they use the forward? I'm not sure, like, in my opinion, I think they don't use the forward because usually the forward voltage is really small, like around 0 0.6, 0 0.7, they cannot. With a very small voltage like that, you cannot drive any load. But with a voltage around like 3.6 or 5, you can, would be good for electronics circuit. So that's why I think they are prefer to use the breakdown voltage instead of forward voltage and that's why they need the supporting from the Zener diode. And it's only in my opinion, so please don't take it seriously. Check if if it's wrong then please leave me a comment. If it's right then I'm lucky. Now we can explain about the mechanism of the breakdown voltage happening in the Zeno diode by two mechanisms. The first one is Zeno and the second one is Avalanche. So why the diode is named Zeno but not Avalanche? So due to some historical reason which I don't know, they named the diode as Zeno. But in order to explain certain mechanism, could be either Zeno or Avalanche. And one more attention that we need to pay is that even though the diode in either the forward region or breakdown region can let infinitely big current going through it, but uh, in an actual circuit, the current going through the diode is a finite current, and that finite current is determined or limited by the external circuit. And you would like understand more what does it mean external circuit when we go to the anti-spice simulation. So this is only like an introduction about the Zeno diode characteristic. So in besides the forward direction of the diode, we also care about the breakdown region because this is the region, this is the characteristic that we utilize for using in a voltage regulator. So now let's go to the 
simulation. So this is the simple simulation that I already prepared beforehand. If you want to understand what does it mean like dot model, dot trans, or how to draw the circuit, please refer to my previous videos in LTSpice. And now let's go directly to our main focus, which is the Zener diode. It's no different from a normal, normal diode in LTSpice. You just use the symbol of a diode, but in the model, you could specify the forward voltage and also the reverse voltage. Now I put the figure here to like remind about what are the characteristics of the Zener diode. So we want to see the reverse direction which is the 5 volt. And here we have the input voltage has the amplitude of 7 volt, the DC offset is 0, and the frequency of the sign sinusoidal signal input is 50 Hertz and this resistor what is the purpose is to determine the current flowing through the diode so that's what it means now so this part here is the external circuit which determine the current the specific value of the current going through the diode either in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. Now let's run the simulation. Nothing happens because we need to measure. Let's measure our input signal. So this is our input signal. And let's see the signal on our, our Zener diode. Oh, there's something happening here. Let's check. Now we have a what does it mean here why there's a glyph in the input signal when we measure the voltage on the diode because you could see this diode is intentionally put in the reverse direction in order to demonstrate the breakdown region of the diode so when does the input signal voltage start to be bigger than 5 volt, which is our reverse voltage at 5 volt. And look at the characteristic here again. So when the voltage is bigger than 5 volt, the dial start to conduct. And when it start to conduct, the voltage on the diode cannot be different from 5 volt, different from the breakdown voltage due to it could withstand infinitely big current going through it. That's why the voltage on the diode when it starts to be conducted is always 5 volt. So when it starts to be conducted in the reverse direction, you could see the voltage on the diode is always 5 volt because the breakdown voltage is 5 volt. And then when the current start, like when the, sorry, when the voltage like on the diode starts to be less than 5 volt, the diode stop conducting. When it stops conducting, the diode here is only like an open circuit. So whatever we have at the input will be similar to the output. So as you could see, our output, the voltage on the diode and the input green signal, totally the same because the diode at this region is open. and when here again there's a glyph in the output voltage signal the same explanation can be said because in this forward in this uh, direction like when the input signal start to be negative negative very negative then the diode start to conduct in the forward direction because we have the forward voltage as 0 0.7 volt so here, the dial start to conduct current in its forward direction, in its forward direction. Look at the figure again here. So when the dial start to conduct in the forward direction, the voltage on the dial cannot be changed, always 0 0.7 volt, which is 700 millivolt. And it's negative because uh, the forward direction of the diode corresponding to 
the negative voltage. That's why it's negative. So I hope that everything here is somehow clear. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to normal. Everything about Zeno diode somehow is clear and helpful. If you found out that it's useful, please give me a subscribe or like or any comment about the content if you found any wrong thing. And thank you for watching my video. See you again. Goodbye.